Hi people, as you can see I have one of the latest flagship phones from Umidigi company and I am very happy because uh, it's been a while when I have tested uh, some other smartphone from this Chinese company so uh, I have opportunity to introduce to you their latest flagship phone called Umidigi Z Pro as you can see Umidigi Z Pro uh, at this moment, this is their latest smartphone, flagship phone, because it has very powerful hardware, of course. So, let's say a few words about packaging. Mostly smartphones come in paper box, box made from paper, but in this situation, this phone comes in black metal box, as you can see really fancy and on the back side there are information about the phone hardware specifications and some other information and this phone as you can see is in prime black color which looks really really cool about accessories you will receive fast charger Okay, and you will also receive red USB cable, which is also really really cool and fancy. Okay, back to the phone. So, as I said earlier, this phone is a flagship phone, and we expect only best parts, best hardware, really cool design, and of course, we hope to have. Uh, affordable price in this situation you all get you all get this with this phone because for example uh, some Chinese companies have made a lot of progress like this company in regarding the development of technology and build quality of course because for example when we compare this phone with Galaxy S7 phone I really don't see huge difference between these phones but at the same time Galaxy S7 costs at least several times more so they really done a great job because uh, indeed this phone gives you full premium feeling from every aspect so for the start I can tell you that the case is completely made from metal so let's uh, let's go with the back side so this is the back side of the phone and we have here dual rear cameras with quad led flash here we have umidigi logo and on the bottom of device we have usb type c port and speakers on the right side of the phone we have volume button and power on off button okay on the left side of the phone we have port for sim cards and memory cards so you have two abilities or a choice for in first choice you can have two sim cards and same time or in other choice you can have one sim card and one memory card okay overall it looks really cool and gives the user premium feeling because the phone looks really awesome also the build quality is great because the case is completely made from metal and the phone is not too big or too small for the one hand so I believe that they have done a great job when we speak about build quality and design also when we speak about the screen 
the screen is big 5.5 inch with full HD resolution the screen is made by Sharp and the screen is excellent believe me is excellent from every angle sharpness is great visibility on strong sun is also very good and of course touch very precisely so you can normally use the phone okay it has very similar feature like made to smartphones uh, the home button is also the back so you can go in the menu and just with what light touch you can go back you can see also if you want you can use these buttons on the screen just a moment let's go to the settings page okay so you see or if you don't want to use it you just okay just a moment okay i was doing wrong this uh, so when you don't want to use on the screen button just click here and it's gone and when you want to use it just do this okay 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 let's go to the next chapter about performance and benchmark testing as well as every flagship phone this one also has powerful hardware so it is based on deca core chipset Helio X27 MediaTek chipset. It has also 4 GB of RAM and 32 GB of storage space, where approximately user has 25 GB. And of course, as I said earlier, you can upgrade your internal storage using the micro SD card up to 256 GB. So you can see. It has very powerful hardware for every purpose, including gaming. I tried several different things like playing games, going to the internet, uh, watching movies, and from what I can see, everything works just fine. So I will show you some information. Let's see, for example, uh, CPU-Z. Okay. Deca core CPU GPU is Mali T880. As I said, approximately 25 gigabytes the user has available. And if you need more space, you can always use the micro SD card. And it has many different sensors okay let's see Antutu benchmark pretty good score let's see the ranking okay it, it is here so It is pretty good because these phones which has a better Antutu score are much much more expensive but in reality believe me the score it is not too much important because uh, phone which has better score than this can't play a game better than these phones be be believe me and I will show you this so let's see how game works uh, for playing games i will use bluetooth gamepad because it is much easier to play than with touch 
let's see. Uh, in this moment, retro games are really cool. So I will try to play a retro game. Super Star Wars. Okay, game went connected. In stereo. Oops. Okay, let's play the game. Okay, you can see the game works just fine. No lags of, of any kind. So you can normally enjoy playing games, any kind game. Okay. So let's see another thing, for example. how uh, movies perform for this purpose I have full HD movies 2k in 4k movie so for example let's see full HD movie as you can see full HD movie works smoothly without any lax people you can normally enjoy watching movies Dubai is really really great great really really great Great, let's see 2K movie how works. Okay, this is the 2K movie. Some distortions. Maybe in other player will see or best player maybe you can play better. Because this is standard Android player for movies. Okay. And let's see 4K movie. I don't know if I can. Okay, it works. This is, as you can see, 4K movie. If you don't believe me, just see, I will go back, just a moment. As you can see, 
we have full HD movie 64 megabytes, uh, 2K movie 180 megabytes and 4K. So this is it, 4K movie. Okay, as you can see, 4K movies also works just fine. So, in other words, you can normally enjoy watching movies, your favorite TV shows, or maybe YouTube, who knows. But, you can normally enjoy watching movies. Okay, great. So, let's go to the next chapter about camera. So, this phone is really cool. It has powerful hardware, great build quality, but it has more. It has dual rear cameras, or in other words, it has two rear cameras, which has all, uh, both cameras have 30 megapixel sensors made by Sony. So we have two 30 megapixel cameras and they have quad LED flash, which is much stronger, better than a regular LED flash. Uh, and the front and the front facing camera has also 13 megapixel uh, sensor, but in this situation it is made by Samsung, and it has LED flash also, which is also very interesting for front facing cameras. So the main question is. The main question is, uh, does this camera camera setup provide better photos than single camera smartphone? Uh, overall and simple answer is yes, because particularly for wide angle photos, but also, but uh, when you're taking normal photos, there are no uh, difference because the phone only uses the one camera for normal photos. For wide angle photos, it uses or both cameras. So uh, it has advantage only for wide angle photos where you can adjust settings for bad photos but when you take photos uh, in normal uh, mode then there is no difference. But besides that uh, this camera has 30 megapixel Sony sensor which overall provides good quality photos and for photo samples you can visit my website in uh, where my, in my writing review you can see photo samples by but overall uh, the photo quality is very good for this price range and from other information i can tell you that you can uh, record video in 2k and 4k resolution also it has features like live photo advanced hybrid autofocus overall many features for smartphone okay about battery uh, with regard to lifestyle every day we use smartphones more and more and because of that we need more battery capacity of course so according to the company this smartphone has 3007 80 milliamperes battery also made by Sony uh, this smartphone also support quick charge technology and because of that as I said earlier you will receive quick charger if you charging phone from 0 to 100 or in other words fully charge uh, it needs approximately uh, 100 uh, one hour and a half so you don't need to wait too long for fully charged phone but also if you don't have time to wait so long you can charge only for 30 minutes and you have approximately one day of usage which is great so so you can see as conclusion this phone is really great the price is now around 250 dollars and for this money i believe this is a great choice. If you have any questions or comments, please ask or comment. Thank you.